Good afternoon, folks. I'm here to show you what you do when you get your Bio Blaster Fruit and Veggie Sanitizer, the powerful 5,000 milligram per hour ozone generator from the home of the Bio Blaster. First, you remove the packing materials, your owner's manual, the stone, and the machine. Inside this package, you'll find all the accessories that you need to make ozonated water the very first time. Find the stone, the cord, and the owner's manual. Read the owner's manual first before doing anything else. So you're going to find your uh, tube is going to be connected together with this uh, fitting right here. Now this fitting is just a simple push connect which you just push in this end and pull it out. This end if you want to do just push in and pull out and what that allows you to do is connect to your, your larger air stone or if you ever want to add an additional length of, of hosing this handy connector comes in uh, into play. If you have want to install your smaller air stone it just pushes on the inside with a little bit of pressure and you can drop this into your um, beverage glass or your bottle of water, whatever you're going to be opening. So once you take the plastic off, you're going to find the fruit and veggie sanitizer. And uh, this machine uh, is fairly simple to use. It has a push connects on either side for one for your ozone output, the other one if you want to connect it to an oxygen concentrator for your oxygen input. If you don't use that, it's just going to take ambient air and draw that in to make your ozone gas. Uh, the reason for, make it, for adding an oxygen input is if you were going to do a home sauna or some other application. The cord is very, fairly simple to understand and to use you're just going to plug your cord in like this here's your power on off switch and here you have pump number one pump number two and the reason for two pumps if you're going to do a small glass of water you're going to use one pump if you're trying to overcome a deeper volume of water the head pressure increases significantly if you're going to do your bathtub or even your kitchen sink to do a sink full of veggies which is what we're about to do right now but it's fairly simple here's your timer and your power indicator lights and and it's fairly simple so you just connect your hose here by pushing in on this fitting this is called a push connect insert the hose We've now got our smaller stone on. If we want to use our larger stone, we would simply push connect on this side, like this, and then on the larger side, like this. And now we're set up to do the larger stone for doing uh, fruits and veggies or bathtubs. So we're going to move this over to the kitchen sink here, and we're going to begin doing a bunch of vegetables. So we're all set up here to do our first uh, demonstration. We're going to show you how to do a glass of water and how to do your fruits and veggies. So the first thing we're going to do is the glass of water. So we're going to remove the push connect fitting like this simply by depressing and pull, pulling out or releasing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to install the bottled water slash glass of water air stone. And we're simply going to go over Fill up our drinking water glass. And then we're going to put our air stone right in the glass. We're going to make sure that our power is on. Now that's starting up the cooling fan. And 
this is our ozone output nozzle. So we can dial up or down the amount of ozone that we want to make simply by dialing this dial. So for a glass of water, we're just going to turn this up a little bit. Now we're only using, you know, between 600 and 1,000 milligrams. And you can let that uh, glass of water bubble with ozone for, oh, you know, it'll absorb ozone for up to 40 minutes. I typically do mine for a half an hour before I drink it. I drink a quart of ozonated water almost every morning. You're also going to want to turn on any exhaust fans that you might have in the kitchen to deal with uh, sucking out the ambient gas. But as long as you have this on a low setting, it should be just fine. And if you wanted to add more pressure, we're going to show you it's going to probably bubble out of this glass, so I'll hold it over the sink. Now you add your second uh, pump, which helps you deal with deeper volumes of water, or head pressure, as it's called in science. And that's it. So now we've ozonated this glass of drinking water. We can turn it off, remove the stone, and drink that fresh ozonated water. Now if you wanted to do, when you bring your fruits and vegetables home from the store, um, they're loaded with pesticides. They're, they're loaded with bacteria. There's viruses. There are all these um, ambient um, things that get picked up onto the fruits and veggies as they travel. And not to mention the fact that even not only all of our organic vegetables are labeled organic. So we're just going to fill up this sink with water. While we're doing that, we're going to add our vegetables. And when you do this, it's not only going to oxidize the pesticides, it's not only going to break down uh, all, uh, and break them all down, it's going to kill all the viruses and all the bacteria and all the mold spores, any mycotoxins that have been picked up. And you're just going to put these in the water as it continues to fill. It's best to use cold water. It'll absorb more ozone. The heat tends to break the ozone down. We're going to let that water level rise higher than the level of our veggies. Drop it in the water. We'll do a few apples as well. And then we're going to remove our air stone for drinking water. We'll set that right on top of the machine. We're going to push, depress the push connect fitting, install the hose connection that takes the larger air stone that comes with the fruit and veggie sanitizer. We're going to do that push connect, depress it, insert it. Now that's connected into this larger air stone and we're going to put that in the bottom of the sink. And now we've got this sink full of our vegetables and we're going to go ahead we're going to turn on the power that starts that cooling fan up. We're going to turn up the ozone. We're going to turn on both of our pumps inside here because we've got a deeper amount of water in this sink. And we want to make sure we're getting that ozone throughout that water. And I'll bring the camera up closer so that you can see exactly what that looks like. And you want to do your vegetables on average for 15 to 20 minutes to really make sure you're oxidizing those pesticides. And you're going to get a lot of benefits from it. It's going to break down your pesticides. It's going to break down, it's going to kill all the viruses, all the bacteria, and all the mold spores. And you're going to get a longer shelf life. But it's important to make sure you dry your vegetables very well. So you let those drain on a towel after you take them out before you put them away for storage in your refrigerator. We're going to let you look exactly at those veggies as that's bubbling. And you see your bio blaster over there. And it's just blasting away. Now you can dial up that ozone to increase the time 
or you can dial it back down if you have an unventilated area and take it and do it for a little bit longer. But it's just that simple, folks. The BioBlaster Fruit, Veggie, and Water Sanitizer is the most powerful, awesome machine in its class. It's got the inline air dryer. It has the uh, double pump for deeper and, and shallower volumes and it's got uh, the, the cooling fan timer and all of the things that are necessary to make an awesome ozone generator.